Good morning and welcome to Bethlehem Baptist Church. If this is your first time visiting with us, we want to welcome you to our church. Please open your bulletin. There you will find the QR code. Open your camera app and point it at the QR code and it will take you to our digital connection card. Here you will find a visitor information form that you can fill out so we can have a record of your visit. And you will also find some information about our church. Small group Bible study continues tonight. Please see Pastor Patrick if you did not sign up. There is still a spot for you. Choir practice will be today at 4.30 and children's choir practice today at 6 p.m. All teachers and assistants should plan to attend Sunday School Matters training on Monday, November 15th, 6.30 p.m. There will be a meal provided. Picture day for members of BBC that did not get their pictures made last year will be today immediately following the service until 12 p.m. Today is the last day for all committees to submit a budget request for 2022. These requests should be as detailed as possible and submit them to Cheryl Morgan or a member of the finance team. The finance team will meet Tuesday, November 16th at 6.30 p.m. in the Family Life Center. November the 18th is the last day to sign up for the Bethlehem Stars trip to Carolina Opry Country Christmas Brunch on Thursday, December the 2nd. The cost is $49 and you can give your payments to Dora Sims or Janice Mathis. Join us as we travel to Bradshaw, West Virginia on December the 17th through the 19th for a mission trip. A sign-up sheet is on the table in the foyer and the meeting to go over this event will be held next Sunday after the AM worship service if you are interested in going. We will also be collecting gift cards through Sunday, November 21st for Christina Garcias and Justin Harper for their wedding shower. They are registered at Belk, Wayfair, and Pottery Barn. You may give your gift cards to Nancy Wynn. Men's Ministry will meet Thursday, November the 18th at 7 p.m. in the Family Life Center. A sign-up sheet is on the table in the foyer. Quilters will meet on Saturday, November the 20th at 9 a.m. in the Family Life Center. Please join Home Place Bed and Breakfast along with the Cato family as they continue their annual drive through nativity scene on November the 19th and the 20th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Please enter on Yancey Cato Road off Pageland Highway and follow the traffic pattern. Flyers are on the table in the foyer if you're interested in attending. Now, let's go over our sermon preview. We'll continue the sermon series, Do We Really Mean It? Under the sermon title of the day, I'd Rather Have Jesus. We'll be in Psalm chapter 84, verses 1 through 12. So what do you want for Christmas this year? Probably a fresh pair of Nikes. What do you want, man? Mm. I'm thinking about an Instapot. So if you could have anything in the world, like anything, no, you know, money don't matter, nothing, what would it be? Probably like a million dollars. A million dollars, because yeah. you could invest it. Buy a bunch of stuff, together. yeah. So I'm going to say a uh, thousand acres and a million dollars. Okay, okay. Well, all jokes aside, is there anything you want more in your life than Jesus? Mm. You know, all these things we look forward to or desire to have in our lives never give us true fulfillment. When our birthdays come around, we want something else. Then Christmas, we want even more stuff. It's a never-ending cycle in our society today to want more and more things. However, true fulfillment in our lives is only found in Jesus. Today, as we look at our passage, we will see three truths that display the evidence in our life that there is nothing we would rather have than Jesus. Is Jesus all you would rather have in your life, or is there something else that has taken his place? And now, let's begin our service. 